find in all of Europe. It's called the Ule. And you can see that the name is written there on that one wall, right here, Winninger Ule. Um, when, you, when you want to think of the name winning, think of winning and then add an E-N, then you have Vinnigan. And we call things when it's coming from this area, it's the Vinnigener Ule. I've only seen them in zoos. I've never mm -hmm. seen one here. But that's what, in earlier times, there were some Uhus that lived here, and that's where the name came from. Now, Vinnigan, the village back there, owns clear up to about where we are now, where that cross is down there, the little cross in the wall. Beyond that, that all becomes Coburg, which is where I spent 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> the Vinnigan. <laughs> You can see there's a little, it's always a little cup. Actor and a winch, and you have to have a clear shot at it. There can't be any curves in the in the track. There can't be any hills. It has to be very even. The one right next to it here, to the left, you can see there's a little machine on a single rail. That's yeah. the, the way oh, of the yeah. future. Those are called monoracks, and there's actually, it's got little cogs underneath it, little um, places for the, the machine to catch on to, and the, and the machine that pulls it up is very similar to a very strong motorcycle, and the second part of it is like a little wagon that you can load up with whatever you need to load on there. If you're taking people up there, you can take people up there. There always has to be a driver in that front section, and then you can put whatever, whatever you want in the back section. They can carry up stones to do the wall repair, fertilizers. Um, when they're harvesting, they bring the grapes down with them. When we, when we harvest, we go from one grapevine to the next. Each person has a bucket and a pair of scissors, and you, you harvest one grapevine and then move on to the next one. When your bucket's filled, the guy with that big bucket on his back comes and you dump your grapes into his bucket, and that's how we get the grapes down the hill. They, uh, we harvest here in about the very, very earliest, depending on the summer, it starts at the end of September the whole month of October and goes into November. We never, ever, ever harvest when it rains. Can you imagine why? Well, you want to have a high sugar level in your grapes. And if you've got water in your grapes, you're lowering that sugar level that you've worked so hard for. You can wait for better weather. If you have hard sides, you see there the vinegar of Ulen. You can see it's not quite as obvious anymore because the color's changed again. There's a, a kind of almost a red tint to the, the rock, and that's coming from a succulent that grows there. And that's what this butterfly needs for its uh, nutrition. And that's what it lives from. I was here yesterday, and there were all kinds of people working. They come periodically through the entire summer. The only thing that they are allowed to spray are fungicides. It's not allowed for them to spray anything else but that. And they do it in a very scientific measurement. There's no adding just a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that, which was something that a, a farmer could end up doing or a winemaker could end up doing. There's one of those little trains I was telling you about. See how it's got a seat and then the, the back part oh, of it yeah. for carrying the load. There's another one. And they're all along here. Those uh, tracks to put in cost about 100 euro per meter to put in. But you can see oh, that they can wow. bend, they can turn. They're very, very flexible. When you put one in, you have a little uh, trailer that you can move that uh, train thing from one vineyard to another. So you don't need to have for each one of these tracks a train. That wouldn't work. A lot of problems with insect infestation? Um, actually, we don't. Uh, there is one moth that they do a, a pre-strike with. They have um, a little capsule that they put in there that, ha that emits a, a scent that confuses the male, um, I guess it must be a moth. And when that moth is flying around, he can't find his counter mate. He can't find a mate because he gets confused by this smell, and so they don't produce. We did the same they thing with Japanese beetles at home. What's that? We did the same thing with Japanese beetles at home. They use it. It's a pheromone. Type. Yeah, that's what they use here too. And and every year they go out and they reposition those things throughout the entire vineyard. Um, 
we had a couple years ago, we had something that came through Germany. It was called the red wine fruit fly, and it was destroying grapes. I, I have a red vine at my house, and I didn't get a single grape that year. And what the, what the uh, fly didn't eat, oh, there's our winemaker. <laughs> that was 